Hi, I'm Laura Rich Creek with Laura's Voice. Fans of Derek Barton, author of fantasy and horror stories, will appreciate the following excerpt from our interview back in June 2019. His most expansive work is the Wyvern Shield series that I, as a voice actor and audiobook producer, have been able to narrate Consequences Within Chaos, the first book, and The Bleeding Crown, the second book. We talk here about our favorite characters. Can you answer the question of which character is you? I saw Prince Taven as my younger self. Um, hmm. uh, and I really related to that character. Unfortunately, bullying and being judged was a harsh reality for me in grade school and later in high school. Hmm. Um, I mean, even today we still have that issue in schools. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I didn't come from I didn't come from wealth like a lot of the other kids in school. I escaped my torment and depression often by going into books. Hmm. And I think Taven does the same thing where he escapes his world, just not as voluntarily. Interesting. Oh, that's fascinating. We haven't talked about that before, so that's really neat to to get that insight. So would that make Taven your favorite character, or would you answer that question differently? Uh, no. Overall, I, I think that Taven is my favorite character. Um, Latonda quickly became my second favorite character, just because of her spirit and the... I, I didn't, truly admired the way she kept a protective watch over her brother, Mm -hmm. even against her own mother, which, you know, often you would not have that kind of rift in a family. Mm -hmm. On the flip side of that, Alst is also one of my favorite characters. I do have a dark side, and I like to write (laughs) horror. And I think that you can relate to his story, too, because of the fact that his horrendous imprisonment really made you feel for what he went through. Oh. And really, you know, it shaped who he became. Right. Um, there's kind of a theme through the whole book about revenge and how you take it too far, it just escalates more revenge. Right. And, you know, later on, even Taven says that, you know, when is this going to stop? Where does this chain stop? Mm-hmm. You know, your father is mad at my father, and my father is mad at yours. And then, you know, it just progressed. Right. And uh, that's one of the things about the book that I truly try to express is, you know, revenge can only go so far before it ruins more lives than anticipated. Right, that it becomes a poison. And I think that's one of the things I appreciated so much about the first book, and then it was carried into the second book. But you're, it wasn't just, um, I don't know, a cool story, but you had some major lessons to be taught and and major points to be made and the characterization of your of of your characters was so far beyond what i expected i'm not sure what i expected but i i thought the relationships were so complex and yet there was that there's still that element of good in the individuals um especially i think or the one that comes to mind first since you mentioned it is is the queen queen demetrius is that she's um She's not a nice mom when it comes down to it. But again, her circumstances created that that pain in her. And she had she had a lot of hurdles to overcome. And at the end, she did. And she did what a mother does. Yes, easily Taven, LaTondra. And there's a part as a mother, there's a part of me that really appreciates Queen Demetrius. And then now as a narrator, because <laughs> I wanted to get this in, as a narrator, my favorite character is Lasher because his accent is so fun to do. Oh, yeah, easily, by far. Um, his accent is fun to do. And he has these, you know, he's intelligent and just a little bit sarcastic at times and gets in That's some humor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and I like that we can we can you know, wedge that humor of his in there and all the expressions and the way that he works with people. And you see that that human like element where he wants to change. He wants to be better. And he actually grows to love somebody and and wants to pursue her. So that's that's another fascinating offshoot of your main storyline. But I do find it interesting that you mentioned oust. And, and again, I think there is some empathy we can have. But because he takes it too far and destroys others, then he still remains the villain. It's all it's but but you also see a little bit of villain 
in everyone and a little bit of hero yeah. in everyone. And I, I really like how you you don't make it so cut and dried and, and people mess up and they pay the consequences and they have to rectify things and, and somehow be redeemed, hopefully. Are there other characters based on real people in your life? And would you like to reveal who they are? I do base a lot of characters on people that I interact with, um, especially uh, it turns out to be co-workers more than anything. <laughs> um, but, uh, and I usually let them know. Ah. <laughs> I want people to be surprised and, you know, if they didn't want to be a part of that, then, you know, I would respect that. So, um, in consequences, I based Sergeant Devin on a co-worker I got along really well with. Um, his first name was Devin. Hmm. So, um, yeah, nothing like, well, anybody who is listening to this just better be ready for some spoilers. But uh, <laughs> That's I, true. I walked into the office one day and I said, oh, sorry, man, I killed you off today. <laughs> <laughs> I also used a, a story that um, Devin actually tells in the book. That was actually one a story that was told by a boss of mine, uh, one of my former mentors. And okay. uh, I really liked the story. It was the story about him almost killing his grandfather by accidentally shooting out a window. He needed to know his uh, grandfather was in the building. Yeah. So, And uh, I wanted to tell that in a way to give honor to the man that told that because uh, Lou died suddenly the year after he told that. So oh. I thought it was a nice way to remember him. A lot of my stories, um, I do base characters off of people I've met, like um, in four days, the, the uh, tour guide, Courtney, who was actually based on a co-worker who could be nice one moment and then tough as nails in the next breath. Interesting. She wasn't too pleased by her outcome in the book either. <laughs> that was Derek Barton, author of the Wyvern Shield series. Books one, Consequences Within Chaos, and two, The Bleeding Crown, are available as audiobooks. Learn more at laurasvoice.com, authorderekbarton.blog, and audible.com. Stay tuned for more of my chat with Derek next Thursday. I'm Laura Richcreek. Thanks for listening. Production Copyright 2019